Blessings, blessings to you blessings. guys. Blessings. God bless you all. Yes. We have something that we want to share with you guys. Yes. Yeah, someone wrote a dream in our comment section, uh, the video that we did about Beyonce. I'm going to read it here. Hi, Henry and Monique. I just want to let you guys know that you are right. People despise prophecy, but love a lie. I love how God is using you both. One, a dreamer, and the other, an interpreter. You both are, and this is not allegedly, but 100% correct on point with your dreams and interpretations. With that being said, a week or two ago, I was sitting on my bed. I think I was playing a game on my phone when all of a sudden I saw a really quick vision of Beyonce flashed before my eyes. She was sitting on a floor in a dark hole or dungeon, whereas I couldn't tell if she was sleeping or drugged. With her eyes closed, and the first thing I said, wow, Henry was right. I just saw B sitting on a floor sleeping in a black hole or dungeon somewhere with my own eyes. I just wanted to share my vision with you both. Stay blessed. Keep prophesying and being obedient to God. People better wake up and take heed to the warnings because God is truly exposing. I personally want to say thank you, God, for using H&M to dream, interpret, and prophesy. You are a great God of signs, wonder, and exposure. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, amen and amen. 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 I love this dream. Yeah. You know, uh, when people send dreams like this, or when I see comments on our se- uh, comment section, dreams that they had concerning whoever that we made a video about, mm-hmm. you know, those things brings more encouragement to us. And not even only this, I see, I saw a couple of uh, people posting their dreams. It confirms a lot of things. And this dream right here, you can interpret this dream very simple, straight, straightforward. God is still speaking. A lot of people will be like, why is God paying attention to this? God can reveal anything. We are not the one telling God what to reveal to anyone. So not only these dreams that we have, a lot of people have different different dreams. But when it comes to something to bring to the light, it needs to be bring to, to the light. Because a lot of people are questioning it. A lot of people are confused. But God is not confused. No, not at all. And uh, some people will say, well, why are Christians making videos about celebrities? Let's get back to how God is using our ministry to do so and other things. Because he's given us prophetic dreams about it and he told us to place it. So it's important to know that God is using these opportunities to bring a lot of people to Christ Jesus. A lot of people that are atheists, they love Beyonce. And then, you know, they they, uh, attract to a video with Beyonce name on it. Any celebrity that that God allows us to put on our social media platform. And that brings them to Christ Jesus. How do we know that? We know this for sure. It's because we've been doing this for so many years and the way people email us and give us encouragement. A lot of people are not believers, but as soon as they they see this Beyonce dream and prophetic dreams coming to pass about her or warnings from God, they'd be like, you know what? I need to give my life to Christ Jesus. I wasn't even trying to find y'all video, but it was right on time for me to wake up. And um, another thing we need to know is God want us to know the technology and the power that these people have. Yeah. You know, it's important to know this information about what they have the power to do to a celebrity, how they can bring clones out, yeah. how they can bring robots out, how they can just manipulate people when God is trying to wake everyone up because in the last days and we, you know, listen, okay. We're, we're there. In the last days, they, uh, is, it will be a strong delusion. Yeah. And we need to decipher what is wrong and what is right, what is the truth and what is a lie. And uh, we, we have to have strong discernment. 
because the, 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 even the things, the technology that they have on how to control our weather. And then number two of, um, the, 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 the signs and the wonders that is going on in the earth right now. It's a lot of things that are going on and, uh, the Lord wanted us to reveal the truth yeah. because, uh, it, it sounds scientific. Yeah. It sounds like a Hollywood movie, but God is showing you that this stuff is real. Yeah. I, I and saw, demonic. Yeah. I saw a lot of people commenting. If this person is clone, what about the husband? What about the family members? You all didn't know. So, like uh, some people ask questions like they are babies, you know, but at the same time, uh, people, some people are looking for understanding. Right. Yes, we get it. Whenever these people will sign up for this contract, whenever they sell their soul, a lot of their family members that are still with them has no option than to go according to this, this whatever they sign. Is a must. If you if you go against that, you'll be missing. So they are they all are in the same uh, uh, track with all this. So nobody will come up. Oh no no, expose it. If you are ready to expose the truth and you are a family member, you'll be gone in a second. Mm -hmm. So don't get it twisted. They know what they are doing. They know what they are setting up. And they are in agreement with it. It is what it is. It is what it is. I also had a vision or dream. I don't even know what it is until my husband tell me what it is about Beyonce. After we did that video about Beyonce being a clone or whatever, or even exposing the Church of Bay, um, that night I had a, a, a dream or vision. And so I'm going I'm to tell everyone here. In the dream, it felt like a vision because it was very quick, okay? In the dream, I began to see Beyonce, and she was on the floor in a dark area by herself. And she um, she was sitting down, and her legs were folded. Her, her knees were folded up, and her knees and her arms were around her knees. You know what I'm saying? And she, all I could see is her head down, and she was just crying, just crying, and that was it. It's still the whole confirmation of what God is revealing in this time, you know, where she is. She is strongly in captive, strongly in captive. A lot of people are saying that she is no more here. I saw one one video, the person openly saying that she is no more here. But I believe strongly that she is still in captive. She's still here. Uh, I wonder if they will ever let her come out because she was ready to start uh, exposing some things slowly. But uh, at this point, nobody knows what will be the outcome. But we just need to keep on praying for her, for her repentance, wherever she is, to leave all this uh, uh, witchcraft and all this sorcerers that she have, uh, you know, Get herself involved. Mm -hmm. All this can never help you. Yes. Never. Only through Christ Jesus. That's amen. the only way. Amen. Amen. Um, I know that one thing is going viral right now about, you know, because Beyonce is now doing con country music, right? So one song is going viral and it's called Daughter. And everybody know that, you know, Beyonce have a daughter named Blue. So, um, I, on my own, began to read the lyrics and I was mind blown of the details that she was saying in the song. You know, you all can Google it yourself. The song is called Daughter. And so, um, I was kind of put, you know, two and two together. And I was like, it seemed like that Beyonce was also trying to expose herself through music and her lyrics. Um, and, uh, I was like, whoa, <laughs> she, so when my husband was just saying my hair, she was doing it little by little. She, I think she started in her music first. So that's crazy. Also, I wanted to say is that, um, I remember, uh, the Lord shared a dream with us that, you know, a lot of school districts have allowed kids 
to have their blood drawn and stuff like that. And the Lord was revealing that, you know, they are using a lot of our blood to make clones as well. Now that, that type of information is probably going to come out more in the future and more people are going to get very angry about that. But I remember the Lord sharing with that years ago when even this clone stuff wasn't even popular. And, uh, I, I, I remember sharing that video, um, in the community feed, but I believe that all this blood they have drawn, um, in the hospitals, you, you ever realize that they just, all they do is keep taking our blood. It's kind of questionable to me how they keep taking our blood in, in America. And you'd be like, what are they doing with this blood? <laughs> okay. Mm-hmm. They even do it in high schools when I was younger. I remember like, if you want to donate blood. So y- you don't know what these people have done to our blood. And, uh, like the Lord, you know, he revealed about the clone situation, but you just don't know what they're doing. And God is just waking us up very slow. Like he's waking us up, you know, and he has given us some details, but I think he's giving it to us little by little, because if we know too much, uh, <laughs> it's, it's very dangerous on all of our parts, but you know, yeah. God is in control. A lot of people still need to understand this. There is nothing new under the sun, under this, in this world, nothing new. A lot of people might be hearing this or, Believe it or not, if the Bible said there is nothing new, all this has been happening. It's just people are waking up now, but it has been happening. I'm telling you, this man, he worked, he works for the government and he told me, he said, listen, if you seen it on the Hollywood movies, they already did it a long time ago. Y'all are just finding out about it. And he said, I can't say too much because they're listening to everything I say. I was like, whoa, whoa. I take Hollywood movies very serious. And you know, you know what I mean by very serious is like the technology they have, the things that they have done, you know, even uh, that, that, the movie, um, that Tyrone movie, like just pay attention to what they, what they have done in that movie. They're, they're, they're revealing things. Yeah. They're re- revealing a lot of things yeah. and uh, we should be alert on it. And let's not be stupid about it. Yeah. And let's not be in fear either. I hate yeah. when people get fearful over stuff. Like God is in control. Yeah. Whenever I see some people commenting, "Oh, you're bringing fear or whatever," that shows that you are already in fear. Yes, that's true. Because if you're not in fear, you cannot be talking about fear. Mm-hmm. You know, we bring all those things to, you know, like making everyone, every each and every one of us to stay strong. That's all. Not to be f- afraid of it. No, it just, even the Bible, there's some places you read in the Bible that can make you like, whoa. Well, you're not going to be afraid because of something that you read from the Bible. Right. Some people, you know, we just have to use wisdom. Yeah, you're going to have to mature up yeah. because uh, it's coming. It's coming. Mm-hmm. You're going to see all these aliens, but you know what? They're they're demons. Let's keep that clear. They're yeah. demons. Yeah. You're going to see a lot of stuff coming in these in these, in these these coming days. And it's mm-hmm. not a fair tactic. God no. is preparing you. God is preparing you. Mm. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.